a metropolis protected by sand, the archaeological site of Leptis Magna. Leptis Magna is on the Mediterranean coast of Libya. It's one of the largest ancient Roman sites in Africa. The area was originally occupied by a Phoenician port town, but was captured by the Romans in the first century BC. These monuments remained intact because the entire area was covered in sand for centuries. The complex is about two kilometers wide from east to west. Most of the buildings were built during the reign of Emperor Septimus Severus, who was born here. Severus was the first Roman emperor from Libya, and he wanted his home city to be on a par with Rome. This public square is named after him. Many statues of Medusa were put in the square. Medusa was worshipped as a goddess of fertility. Emperor Severus tried to revive the power of the ailing empire by revitalizing local communities. Severus also improved the infrastructure used by traders plying the Mediterranean. This ancient shipping facility is still intact. Grain, ivory and wild animals for the games at the Colosseum in Rome were shipped out from here. Timber poles were fixed in holes and ropes were tied to the poles to anchor ships in the harbour. The port's capacity was likely up to 300 ships. The ancient metropolis of Leptis Magna clearly existed, but only about 30% of the site has been excavated so far. The work has been going on for a long time. These baths were excavated just before World War II. The building's roof is still intact. The sand inside the building protected it from the pressure from above. Scenes from fierce gladiator and animal fights were painted on the walls. Leptis Magna declined after the death of Emperor Severus and was destroyed by Arab invaders during the 7th century. The remains of the city were buried under the Sahara Desert, but are gradually emerging from their sandy shelter. <laughs> 